The Ottawa Senators are extremely pleased to select from the Boston U Terriers, Brady Kachuk. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore for the activities of the games and, of course, breaking news. As well, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the App Store and use our promo code Sense Talk to save twenty dollars off your first purchase. Now, tonight's game is between the Ottawa Sanders and the Toronto Maple Leafs in the Battle of Ontario. And this was a battle as the Sanders are coming off a huge <clears throat> two nothing victory over the St. Louis Blues. Nelson starts tonight, coming off a shutout victory, while the Leafs a seven six victory over the comeback victory over the. Flyers and Freddie Anderson not starting this game allowed like 13 goals and his left 50 something shots on on him. Garrett Sparks in the net for him. Now some things to speak about before uh, this game. Branstrom and Gullibuff were sent back down because Borieski and Yaros were back into the line tonight. So Bobby Ryan's 800th NHL game, DeMello's 200th. Congratulations to both of them. Starting goaltenders, Anders Nelson for the Ottawa Sanders, coming off a shutout. Garrett Sparks, the backup goaltender for the Toronto Maple Leafs, to the first where we go. Sam Edson, a nice play from Max Verano. The newly assigned NCAA free agent, he gets a pass to Alignan to Cody Cece, who roofs it past Garrett Sparks. First goal for the Sanders, it's 1-0 on Cody Cece's sixth of the year. And the Sanders... Come off strong. First couple of minutes, got a couple of big chances on Sparks. And finally, CC gets one in. one nothing. going to the second period. Sanders keep it going. Seven minutes in. Dumelo and Vodka are getting some things going. Duclair as well. Gibbons puts his fifth of the year between the wickets of Garrett Sparks. And Sanders take the 2 nothing lead now. All of a sudden, the crowd was at least 75-80% Leaf fans in this game and in Ottawa. And um, Sanders are up 2 nothing. Disappointing the... The home crowd. But moments later, some minutes to be exact, Morgan Riley rips a shot past Anders Nilsson, blocker side, almost to the top shelf. 2 1 now, John Tavares gets the assist on this goal. The Sanders are down by one. But don't count out the Sanders. Rudolph Balsters gets it past two Leaf defenders to Payarvi, who roofs it past Sparks. Reed takes the Sanders, take the two goal lead right back. It's 3 1, Payarvi's eighth of the year from Balsters and Chris Turney. Moments later, Payarvi on a nice behind the back pass from Zach Smith. Boom! Ottawa heads into the second mis- intermission up 4-1. to one. Zach Smith and Mark Borieski draw the assist on the goal. Payarvi's second of the night and ninth of the season. Going to the third period, now Jean Tavares on a 5-on-3 as um, I think Boro and uh, Yarrow is trip and, and hook a couple of Leaf players. Tavares gets his 40th of the year from Matthews and Nylander. This one was stopped by Nilsson and poor coverage on the 5-on-3 for two minutes. With five seconds to go on this power play, Tavares deposits his 40th of the year. But moments later, Duclair has a strong, strong shift, and he's not going to say no to scoring on this one. He puts one in past Garrett Sparks on a nice bounce off the boards from Ben Harper, and no chance for Garrett Sparks. Sanders take the three-goal lead right back. It's 5-2. Zach Smith gets his third, second assist on the night. Here's his third. Zach Smith, Cody Cece to Oscar Lindbergh. Sanders, six. Leafs, two. Lindbergh's eighth of the year from Cody Cece and Zach Smith. Smith, his first career three assist game, so congratulations to him. As the Sanders win 6-2 to two over the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Stanley Cup contender Toronto Maple Leafs go down. And the Sanders get 44, I repeat, 44 shots on the Toronto Maple Leafs and their Stanley Cup contending team. As they take down the Leafs 6-2. to two. And it's concerning if you're a Leafs fan watching this, because Sands trade away their three best players in Stone, Zingle, and Duchesne. And this is the first time the Sens have scored five goals since those three were on the team. So that tells you something about the Leafs. That tells you something about the goaltending situation. That tells you something about the defense. It tells you something about how overrated they are. And I think it's it's great to see all those Leaf fans in Ottawa get to go home all sad and waste their money on a huge, huge loss for them. And uh, it'll be interesting to see that first round matchup, either Tampa Bay or Boston, probably Boston. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see how you guys perform against them. Uh, because if you're going to lose 6-2 to the worst team in the NHL and one of the worst teams that the NHL has seen in, in a little bit of time, it's interesting to see how you guys are going to perform in the playoffs against like the Boston Bruins, who have been incredible this season. So, uh, nice little victory for the Sanders, and uh, if you're a Leafs fan, time to be concerned. This is not a game you should have lost. Uh, and the Sanders deserve this win this game. They were all over the ice tonight, all over, plenty of chances. And they really put it on Garrett Sparks. A couple chances he had no chance to stop. A couple shots he should have stopped. Went in. 
for the Leafs. That defense on the Leafs really needs some working on. Garner's out long term, apparently. They have no one else. They have Marins. They have a bunch of like six, seven defensemen on. I could even questionable. It's questionable even if they're worse than Ottawa, to be honest, on defense uh, with the quality of players. It's it's a problem if you're a Leaf fan and you don't win playoff games without defense, and they don't have defense. So unless Freddie Anderson bails you out again. Uh, and bails you out and get past the first round. I don't. It'll be a tough series against Boston. Uh, face-offs after the shots will go 44 for Ottawa, 37 for the Leafs. Uh, face-offs 23-35 here. The Leafs. Ottawa's power play did not score tonight, but the power play for the Leafs went one for three. Uh, hits for 29-25 in favor of the Leafs. Third star of the game: Zach Smith, three assists on the night. Second star: Magnus Pajarvi, a two-goal night. In the first star. Uh, 35 stops and 37 shots, 946 save percentage. Anders Nilsson proves a 13 to 17 and one on the season. Now 10 9 and 0 on the season as an Ottawa Senator. Um, as well, uh, today Belleville played against Laval again. I'm not in Belleville, obviously, but uh, came back from that loss in the shootout. They went to the shootout again today. Logan Brown got the game winner in the shootout, making a 6 5 win for Belleville, and they got the two points there. Utica lost in regulation, so they have. Same amount of games played, and a four-point lead on that final uh, playoff spot. So Belleville's in, looking like they're in some good position for that w- final spot for the Calder Cup playoffs. Keep a close eye on that. Besides that, the attendance tonight was 18,607. About 50 off of a, uh, 50 or 40 off of a sellout. 75-80% lead fans. It's expected it'll be practically a full sold-out building. Besides that, let's get to the Sense Talk Star of the Night. What about you, the fans? The four star with 4% of the vote, Zach Smith, a three assist night for him, a couple of nice passes, including that second of the night for Magnus by Arvey behind the back pass. Zach Smith was not the most um, noticeable player tonight, but when he had the puck and he had the chance to get the, the Sanders on the board, he got that opportunity for them. Uh, three assist night for him, 17 minutes on the ice. It's uh, He's quietly had a good year, 17 assists this season. It's a career high for him as well. So a nice little uh, mark there for Zach Smith. Congratulations to him. Third star of the game, 22% of the vote, Anthony DeClaire. Uh, I think he hit the post before that Brian Gibbons goal. He got the goal. There's a couple other chances where he could have scored. He had speed. He was all over the ice. And easily, if this guy can really put it together and you know get his, his career together in Ottawa, because he has the skill. He's a great skill, great kid. Um, this would be this would be a, a steal of a trade for Ryan Dezingle. I mean, a steal of a trade for Ryan Dezingle. Uh, this guy, I don't know why the Columbus gave up on this guy. They, I don't know. Uh, we're, we're lucky to have this guy because he has a skill and the speed. If he just, I, I don't know if it's a maturity problem or something, but if he just puts it together in Ottawa, this is this is a kid to keep for a long time. He's he's not nothing but impressed me so far in his short tenure with Ottawa. Uh, second star of the night, 30% of the vote. Anders Nilsson, 35 stops tonight, 946 save percentage. He made multiple huge stops, especially when the Leafs were trying, starting to get on uh, on the Sanders' heels. Sanders obviously scored whenever the Leafs scored, um, so that didn't last too long. But Matt Anders Nilsson made the save when needed to be made. First star, 44% of the vote, two gold night. Magnus by Yarvi. Not the most Knowles. I think the best player, personally, in my opinion, was Anthony Duclair. But Magnus by Yarvi, since Sox on the night, 44% of the vote. Uh, you know, he scored two goals, and, you know, he got nice passes for those goals, but the shots were not too shabby either. Both bar down practically top-shelf goals. So, Pajarvi, another two goal. I think this is the second or third game uh, this season he scored two goals. So, you know, he's quietly been a good player. Nine goals on the year, 20, 30 points around. He's a good depth player, and I assume he will resign him. Uh, but besides that, the Sens defeat the Toronto Maple Leafs 6-2, to two, and I'll see you next time when the Sens take on the Vancouver Canucks in four days, March 20th, against the Vancouver Canucks in Vancouver at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So besides that, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on the Sens take on Vancouver Canucks. And the Sanders, huge victory in the Battle of Ontario, 6-2. to two. Leaf fans, listen, if you won, I would be, I'll let you guys sulk. Sens win, it's our turn uh, to chirp. Besides that, thank you for watching. Please follow us on Twitter, at SenseTalk underscore, for live updates of the games, and of course, breaking news. Please like us on Facebook, SenseTalk, and it's your circles on Google Plus, SenseTalk. Click the big red button down there, and subscribe to us. Like this video, share this very cool stuff. Please, please, please check out our website, SenseTalkCenter.com. We update that every single day. And of course, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app the App Store. Use the promo code SenseTalk to save $20 off for first purchase. Besides that, the Sanders 6 in the, beat the team from the 6, the Toronto Maple Leafs 2. I'll see you next time. On March 20th, when the Sens take on the Canucks and Elias Pedersen. I'll see you then. Good Sens go.